Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Tuesday, July 14th, 2015. It's a Tuesday morning and it is an active one with showers and thunderstorms lifting up through the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. We have a batch of showers and thunderstorms over Long Island currently lifting to the northeast. And another batch of showers over eastern Pennsylvania that is approaching the region. Temperatures this morning range from the mid to upper 60s over the northern interior upper 60s to lower 70s along the immediate coast and lower to mid 70s in your urban areas. Winds are generally light and variable, but developing out of the south and southeast right along the coast at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Take a look at the latest radar as a couple of low pressure systems approach the region. Notice we have some showers and thunderstorms over eastern Pennsylvania. Some of these thunderstorms are capable of some heavy downpours. We're also seeing that over Long Island pushing into Connecticut. These showers and thunderstorms are rapidly moving to the northeast, and they will have some impact on the morning rush hour. It's not going to be a widespread threat, but some of these thunderstorms are producing some heavy downpours. Nothing that what we've seen uh, from the past couple of weeks with these tropical heavy downpours, but certainly still an impact on the roadways and will have some delays for your morning rush hour due to the showers and thunderstorms, none of which are severe. On the latest infrared satellite picture, you can see waves of low pressure along the stationary boundary here. And what's going to happen is that each one of these low pressure systems will move through the region. This low pressure system will lift off towards central New Jersey, leading to this warm front lifting just through southern New Jersey, leading to the threat for an isolated severe thunderstorm possible over portions of southwestern and southern New Jersey. I think along the immediate coast, we stay stable enough to avoid that threat. As far as the rest of the region, pretty much just a threat for scattered showers and some weaker thunderstorms as a more marine air mass takes hold with an easterly to southeasterly wind. Once that low-pressure system moves through, another one will follow for tomorrow with additional showers and thunderstorms, a threat throughout the region. On the water vapor satellite picture, you can see this set up a little bit more clearly with the various disturbances diving down towards the mid-Atlantic coast and curving up towards the northwestern Atlantic, leading us to the threat for constant low-pressure system was diving from the Great Lakes towards the northern mid-Atlantic, keeping the threat for showers and thunderstorms alive. The good news is that by the time we get to the end of this week and through this upcoming weekend, dry conditions will primarily be in place with temperatures pretty much seasonable for this time of year in the lower to mid-80s. So let's take a look at our latest forecast from the Penn State EWOL website, the European Mild Guidance. For today, we have an area of low pressure moving through, which scattered showers and thunderstorms, an isolated threat for a severe thunderstorm over southern New Jersey. Look for high temperatures in the lower to mid-80s along the coast and mid to upper 80s in the Delaware River Valley. For tomorrow, another low pressure system will move through the region with showers and thunderstorms a threat. Lows in the lower to mid 70s, highs in the mid 80s along the coast, and mid to upper 80s in the Delaware River Valley. On Thursday and Friday, high pressure will be in complete control with cool weather conditions for this time of year. Look for low temperatures in the mid to upper 60s, high temperatures in the upper 70s to lower 80s along the immediate coast, and lower to mid 80s in the Delaware River Valley. So, not significantly below normal in any shape or form, but a bit cooler than what we've been experiencing over the past couple of days. On Saturday and Sunday, a few disturbances will move through with an isolated shower, but most locations will remain dry. Temperatures will remain pretty much seasonable for this time of year. Look for low temperatures on Saturday in the mid to upper 60s, high temperatures in the upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast and lower to mid 80s over the Delaware River Valley. On Sunday, look for low temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s, high temperatures in the mid-80s along the coast, and mid to upper 80s in the Delaware River Valley. On Monday, a strong cold front will approach the region with showers and thunderstorms. Look for low temperatures in the lower to mid-70s, high temperatures in the lower to mid-80s along the immediate coast, and mid to upper 80s over the Delaware River Valley. Now, if we get a little more sunshine on Monday with a southwesterly flow, we could push temperatures to around 90 degrees in the Philadelphia metro and also the southwestern suburbs of Philadelphia. But we're going to have to really see just how much clearing we have and then, as a result, the potential for severe thunderstorms with the cold front passage. 
So something you certainly have to watch out for on Monday. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Thank you for following NYNJPA weather. And as always, stay safe out there.